Okay, welcome to Numeracy, Achieving the Potential with Robin McBirth. Thank you for joining us. We're looking at rounding numbers, the language of numeracy. So in this short lesson, you'll be using some of the rules for rounding of numbers. Hopefully they are clear and precise, uh, abide by them and, and understand why they are correct. And on the way, we could sort out any misconceptions that you may have already picked up from any previous lessons you may have had your educational journey thus far. Okay, points to remember. Using the rules, uh, greater or equal to five, increase the number. So depending what type of number it is, it could be 50, it could be 500, it could be 5,000. Um, but that's the generalized rule we have in mass. Less than five, decrease the number. Uh, again, less than 50, less than 500, whatever the case may be. We're going to use a number line, how to use a number line, to get some idea which number is closest to what, and number order. Hopefully you know what, you know, to the nearest hundredth means, to the nearest thousands, to the nearest ten thousands, and so forth. Here's a number line. So here we've got point A, just to mark it out, and there's point B, and there's the center, oh sorry, not the center, halfway. So here's the first example here. We're looking at uh, what is 14,489 to the nearest thousands. So going through it, the answer must either be between 14,000 or 15,000. And giving our number line here. So it's between those two points here, 14,000 and 15,000. And when we have a look at that, and since 14,489 take away 14,000 gives us 489, you can see that number is smaller. That's closer to 14,000. So that's that number here. You can see it's closer to 14,000. Whilst if you have a look at 15,000, you can see it's further away or a larger number. So that's larger and that's smaller. So clearly the 14,489 is closer to 14,000 so to the nearest thousand you would say close to 14,000 is the answer okay let's go on to the next question example one here's another one to the nearest thousand 12,762 so going through the same sort of logical sequence of how to answer this so if we go straight to the number line down here we can see that we've got number is between 12,000 and 13,000. We'll put the number on. There it is. And you can see it's much smaller to the 13,000, much closer, much further away from the 12,000. So it's much larger. So if you continue with that logic, since the answer will be 13,000. The nearest thousand, 13,000. There we go. Is the next one so we've got to the nearest hundred here 749 again going through the same sort of thinking once you get a bit better you can then uh, avoid doing that maybe go straight to the number line or maybe even do it in your head and you'll be going really well if you can do it in your head okay here we go so the number must be between because this seven here means 700 between 700 and 800 and then we do a little quick calculation between 749 and 749. That's the smaller number here, and that's the larger number there. So clearly 749 is closer to 700 than 800. And just to demonstrate that, we'll use the number line down here just to confirm. So you can visualize what we mean by rounding to the nearest 100. So there's where it is. 749 here you could see it's much closer yet smaller than that's a larger distance to 800 so we would say it's the nearest hundred closer to 700 hence the answer okay third and final example here we've got rounding numbers example three we've got 14,000 sorry 14,000 876 to the nearest 10,000 will be between 10,000 and 20,000. A number line here in the next slide will help us get gauge some idea where it is. So you can see it's between 10,000 and 20,000. We look at the nearest 10,000. 
the actual number is 14,876. So putting that on the number line, so the middle number here is 15,000, that's the middle number. Middle number. And then putting in that number, we could see it's approximately there, 14,876. So you could see that's much smaller. And this distance here to 20,000, much larger. So it's closer to the 10,000 in terms of 14,000 than 20,000. Hence the answer is 10,000.